Well, if you haven't seen The Chosen, there it is. Liz, that takes my breath away. It's so moving, the depiction again of this call to disciple. What's the main theme or the, the main message do you think in season three? So intense, everything's growing, the ministry's growing, the masses know about Jesus, it becomes kind of dangerous, you know? And, um, and there's so many, everyone is struggling so much in so many different ways. And the message is that you can still rest in Jesus. And what have you, what did we learn from Mary Magdalene? I know you can't give it all away, but <laughs> what, what is the sense of where Mary has grown now? Who is she becoming? Yeah, she's, she's kind of stabilizing okay. <laughs> in a lot of ways. She's, she's sort of maturing and, and feels more, I think, settled in the group. And um, she's still clinging a little bit to some of her shame from her past. And, um, and there's some interpersonal dynamics that she has to work out. Uh, but but she, there's, there's a lesson for her to really let go of the past and, and now to be able to use it, uh, knowing her painful experiences to recognize it in others and and help others and sort of like give them a little bit of advice of of what has helped um her and and so i think she's she's sort of maturing in in a lot of ways yeah well we certainly know in scripture and history tells us i was you know in the village where i was in israel at i i hope you've been there have you been there too not uh, yet oh. but i think I, i'm i'm planning on going yes. oh good oh my goodness you're going to just yeah. she's going to you're going to see a side of Mary there that just historically will, well, will warm your heart. And knowing okay. the beautiful woman that she was and is to the faith. But, um, you know, every behind the scenes video of The Chosen depicts this incredible team approach and storytelling. And what's it been like, I have to ask, working with uh, Dallas Jenkins and working with Jonathan as Jesus, what's that been like for you? I mean, it's a dream. It, it's a dream team yeah. of uh, of writers, of actors, the director, the crew. Uh, I mean, I I couldn't ask for for anything better. Uh, everyone's everyone cares so much about this project, and there's people from all sorts of faith backgrounds and cultural backgrounds, but everyone cares so much about doing this right and in a real way, and. Um, and of course, Dallas as our leader, he 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 has a vision and and every single season, everything is just like becoming bigger and better and and um and there's still so much heart in it. There's still so much love in it. And it's just, it's so special to be a part of. Well, I can hardly wait because I want to find out what happens, you know, to Peter and, and you know, like even though oh, I know he's got, <laughs> he's, he's got a lot coming. Some... Yeah, there's a lot this season. There's a lot of struggles and a lot of wonderful characters, arcs and stories and parts of the Bible that I cannot wait to see portrayed because I'm I'm in a lot of sort of um, intimate scenes, but just one on one people or or, or uh, like three people in a scene where we're just sort of talking. And so I I only know, you know, secondhand of these other really massive scenes that people are, have been doing, the, the feeding of the 5,000, the, I mean, the, the Sermon on the Mount, the continuation of that, these enormous scenes that I, I personally, as like a fan of the show, can't wait to see. Yeah, and that's the thing about when you're in, I'm in television, you know, you're in making movies, like we see, we do parts, right? And it's so, yeah. it's so amazing when you see how the team works to tell the yeah. whole story, right? Well, it's launching November 18th. Liz, I have my tickets. I've got my Thank friends you. coming. I've invited my neighbors. You know what? You've said already a little bit about season three, but is there anything else that viewers can anticipate in coming up this season? Um, I, I, other than like <laughs> knowing that some of, I'm just going to assume some of most people's favorite parts of the gospels are going to be portrayed in beautiful ways. Um, like not just, it's not to be missed. Yeah. Well, you know what, as I've watched the story unfold and watched your character develop, what would you say, even from an actor's point of view and personally, personally, what, what do you want people to experience when they watch The Chosen? I want people to, to have hope from, from these stories. I think 
entertainment and media these days is sometimes kind of traumatizing and leaves you feeling empty. And um, and this show, we, we when I watch it, when I'm a part of it, leaves me feeling fulfilled and 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 hopeful about humanity. And um, there are beautiful lessons in it that aren't preachy. There is uh, there's a lot of love in it, and I think there's so many different portrayals of these characters that there's there's someone to relate to whoever you are there's someone to relate to and it's becoming such a global sensation that it's clear that like it this is a universal message this is a, a, a universal you know story that so many people can relate to um and so just finding that hope and love in the media is so rare <laughs> and so wonderful yeah. Well, thank you again, Liz. Thank you for the yeah. beautiful portrayal of Mary Magdalene as I connected with you on so many levels. And then you hit it right on the head. These are real people in a mm. real culture, in a real time, and the real Jesus. We get a glimpse of Jesus that's refreshing and I think so true to the heart of God. So thank you so much. And to all the team at The Chosen, we send our love from 700 Club Canada. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, to watch The Chosen, you can find season one on YouTube or download The Chosen app and you can stream from there. And if you want to see the launch of The Chosen in theaters, season three Canadian tickets are available through Cineplex and Landmark or at fathomevents.com.